Hello everyone, I am Datta Trainikam. Welcome you all on our channel eFunda, new day, new topic. And our today's topic is Site Acceptance Test SAT Part 21A. This is a continuation of our previous video FAT and you will watch this in a series and a complete series will be presented on our channel eFunda. And if you are new to our channel, then please visit to our channel eFunda and watch all the videos created related to the various topics of engineering, fundamental, telecommunication engineering, procurement engineering, instrumentation and control engineering, deliverables, project and, and career and many more. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. So let's begin with our today's topic that is site acceptance test SAT part 21A. The content of this series system testing FAT and SAT part 21 pre factory and factory acceptance test FAT part 21 already published on our channel site acceptance test SAT part 21A this video and the last video will be the difference between FAT and SAT with example part 21B that will be the, our last video site acceptance test SAT a SAT is a site validation test where the devices are evaluated in compliance with the client's validated test plan and procedure as well as the requirement to be demonstrated that the system is properly installed and interface in its working environment with other devices and peripherals are happening correctly. Site acceptance test is a testing acceptance test of equipment and check of the relevant documentation at the site of a use of that particular equipment. The SAT typically includes connecting the system to a simulator or to the actual customer equipment to be operated at a site. The scope of work can handle or include the following. A loop check of the system, revalidation of the logic at site, testing of the HMI system and other field related instrumentation part. The customer service representative or a project engineer ensures that the system verification documents are followed and the testing is conducted in accordance with the approved site acceptance test procedure. In case of a customer run SAT, the customer is responsible for ensuring that the SAT is properly conducted. The vendor will retain only those quality assurance records provided by the customer. In a customer witness SAT, the customer acknowledges in a writing that he or she has witnessed the test and its result are also performed in front of them. The site acceptance tests are typically performed on time and the material basis. Continuation to SAT, any deviation from the above procedures what we have seen will have to be mentioned in the customer request for the quotation or the vendor quote for the project. One can refer to the picture where one can see the consolidated figure where FAT installation and SAT is shown. FAT, the video is already published. Please go and visit and watch that video. Similarly, for the SAT, hardware design specification, functional specification, database, user specification requirement. Simultaneously, the installation qualification, functional qualification and perform qualifications are being performed at site area or on-site installation. Similarly, the SAT procedure manual should cover the following power and earthing verification, B hardware physical inspection, console power on, inventory bill of material, system power on, self-diagnostic, data highway for the communications, whether the software configuration programming are the latest versions 
are correctly loaded h is the last that is the subsystem interface devices this is how the complete interface of the system is checked at the site after installation is done where the operator or actual equipments are connected in line so as to perform this testing to understand the working of the entire plant or the system is being controlled through the control systems are properly installed now moving on to the site acceptance test sat documentation there are several methods and types of the sats depending on the clients and their installation setup at the site and the way they wanted to approach the commissioning as well as the operation of the plant similarly as part of the oil and gas or the energy sector some of the typical documents are we are going to see the following are the types of the documents are needed for sat first is the process control description instrument specification third system io list database as well drawing fourth instrument calibration certificate fifth uh, recommended spare list sixth logic flow diagram seven process pnid eight termination list nine communication interfaces ten program listings eleven manufacturers manual or the drawings twelve startup procedure thirteen punch point list etc and many others as per the site conditions or the site requirement similarly one can refer to the matrix table where we have provided the table sat on site perform at the same as fat with additional requirement and typical equipment items are also listed one can refer to the descriptions where the various equipments or the systems are consider for this matrix are bio reactor system centrifuge system depth filtration skid uf mf skid filtration skid chromatography skid cip skid auto close glass washer etc and the sections are a mechanical b electrical c control and the, in the description of the activities installation conformity mechanical assembly check execute pnid drawing walk down mechanical instrument functionality line slope drainability verify labeling verify bowl and internal component is installed verify equipment levelness verify that holding down bolts installed verify agitator installed and secured verify the structural per platform correctly installed electrical wiring conformity electrical conduit conformity electrical motor installed control system operation instrument loop checking these are the points or activities are covered and this site acceptance test is particularly what we have been talking is the system that is our the control system related fundamentally checking of the parameter what we have done at the fat for their hardware software graphics and other functionality tests are being carried at the vendor shop the same are being tested at the sat after installation and this will give you the consolidated integrated testing of the equipment which is required to monitor and control of the entire plant or the process facility and this is how we have tried to cover the sat their details their functionality and the documentation part and keep watching all these videos and complete the series so as to have the complete knowledge starting from sa prefat fat sat and other part and in the last video we will be covering the difference between fat sat and their typical example what we have done at the sat or generally what are all the things are being carried out fat and the things are being carried out at sat so keep watching our channel e funda and mainly this series with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel efunda then subscribe to 
our channel eFunda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel eFunda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and keep watching our channel eFunda for various topic related to engineering and a project with this we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic keep watching our channel eFunda thanks watch our channel for new day new topic